At Roche, it is our top priority that when you take your medicine, you know what to expect from it. We take your safety very seriously. That's why we continue to monitor the safety of our medicines after they are approved and available for use. We do this by partnering with you, with healthcare providers, and with health authorities in a process called pharmacovigilance. The story begins in the mid 20th century in Europe, where there were no laws that required drugs to be approved by a central health authority. That changed in 1995, when the European Medicines Agency, or EMA, was formed. One of the EMA's and other central health authorities' major responsibilities is to ensure that medicines are safe and that they work the way they're meant to. Health authorities do this by reviewing data from clinical trials. If the data show that the medicine's known benefits outweigh known risks, it gets approved and becomes available to those that need it. But even after a drug is available for use, we continuously check its risk-to-benefit balance. The supervision of a drug during clinical trials and after is called pharmacovigilance. Pharma comes from the Greek word pharmakeia for drugs, medicines, or remedies, and vigilance is from vigilantia, meaning wakefulness, watchfulness, attention in Latin. So pharmacovigilance is the process of standing guard over medicine. At Roche, there are three big parts to pharmacovigilance, monitoring, investigating, and communicating. We rely on reports from healthcare providers and people like you to keep track of any new adverse events or potential side effects that emerge. It's important to note that we keep this information highly confidential. We use these reports only to gather information about the medicine itself. Everybody at our company has a shared responsibility to report adverse events when they hear about them. There are over 2,000 people in our pharmacovigilance team whose sole job is to monitor adverse events. And reports come from all different sources. They could come from the patient taking the medication, the caregiver, a pharmacist, a doctor, and we can even find out about an adverse event from a publication. Once we receive a report, we conduct an investigation to get as complete of a picture of the situation as possible. We want to maintain an ongoing communication with the reporters so that we have that up-to-date information. Things like medical history, other medical conditions that the patient had at the time the event occurred, what medications the person is taking, how they were treated when they had the adverse event, and how they responded to the treatment. We're looking at the seriousness of the event. We're looking at whether or not our drug may have caused that event. And we're also looking at whether or not that particular event might signal that some patients are at greater risk of side effects from the drug than others. A critical piece of the pharmacovigilance process at Roche is communication. Adverse event reports are shared with health authorities. These and all other adverse event reports received by health authorities are accessible to everyone through a database known as UDRA Vigilance. All personal identification information is removed from the reports in accordance with local privacy laws. Roche is constantly reviewing and assessing all reports that come in to determine if the benefit-risk balance of a medicine ever changes. The company collects data from all around the world, so it's important for us to look at that in aggregate. It's this mosaic from which we try to extract any kind of pattern. And as we're getting more and more information, the picture becomes much more clear. So this means that we are creating an ongoing, evolving understanding of the drug in the real world setting. If we identify a risk, we would update the label, even after it's approved. The label, also known as the package insert, contains important information about a medication. This is updated when we find that the balance of benefit to risk has changed. And when that happens, we also proactively communicate that information directly to healthcare providers and everyone else who is directly affected. Pharmacovigilance involves people all over the world who are reporting any adverse events they experience back to us and the thousands of people at Roche who are dedicated to your safety. And that's a regulatory obligation, but that's also our commitment to our patients.